I think we see education as crucial. It's it's an it's an absolutely necessary um, condition for sustained uh, poverty reduction. Western schooling is responsible for introducing a human monoculture across the entire world. We sort of think that you know we educate our kids, we send our kids to school, and people who don't mimic those same patterns of education somehow don't educate their kids. Well, of course, that is absurd. I, I don't know about my culture very much. Nobody speaks the fluent Ladakhi. Yeah, if somebody speaks uh, Ladakhi or Hindi, uh, then teacher give him or her punished him. Yeah. Ma, ma, some doctor gil gosera, engineer gil gosera, halal. We moved from wisdom to knowledge, and now we are moving from knowledge to information, and that information is so partial. We just after money, money, money. <laughs> One of the things that's most disturbing to me is that you have an institution that is in place globally that is branding millions and millions and millions of innocent people as failures. Most of the students of the doc. They don't do very well. 90% end up failures. They're, they're in between people. And they're falling through the cracks of an in-between world. We put out this idea, which I think is a, a blatant lie, that if people bind the dictates of our economic paradigm, that somehow they will magically achieve the wealth that we enjoy in the West. Ain't gonna happen. This model isn't even working in America. And I think the profound kind of damage that it's doing will recognize generations from now and then we'll look back and say, how could we have done this kind of thing to people? There is an assumption that Western education is something that is superior. These peoples aren't failed attempts at being us. They're unique answers to the fundamental question, what does it mean to be human and alive? The intent really is to get every child into school. For if we are to fit and train such children for the future, they cannot be left as they are.